Hey guys, so today we are going to answer a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, do sharp deadlines help software developers improve their and um, bring their A game if you will or does it just create unnecessary press pressure? So let's get into it. So this is... Uh, now, you may think that you know what I'm going to say but you're only half right. So. First and foremost, we need to say something. Of course, having a sharp deadline and having a lot of pressure is going to affect people in different manners. Now, most people will probably claim that they perform worse under pressure. I mean, if you want to check that out for yourself, it's uh, very, very common, especially in, say, tech interviews, that people... And this is actually kind of funny because you may not think so, but people are aware of when they interview people for software developers development positions that there this is a pressure situation if you have a live code test in front of like your your future co-workers it's not like they're not aware of that you are under an immense amount of pressure here there's a lot of you know the stakes are high and they are going to allow you some leeway and like some mistakes are like ex pretty much acceptable it's factored in that you're going to be under pressure and the same thing goes when people make requests of you where oh no we need this by tomorrow people have to varying degree in understanding that pressure is actually a bad thing. And I think that we can all agree on that for most people, ha being in a, in a stressful situation, especially when you need to work within something that is so high, preci uh, high, like high precision fields, like if you were to work with mathematics, it's kind of the same thing. Do you, are, your, are your algorithm and your calculations going to be more like, better? Or like, what are the chances of mistakes, right? Well, if you are in a relaxed position and you have enough time to really go through things properly, odds are that you are going to perform better. The same thing goes for software, as opposed to having a lot of stress and you know, just me in having that looming deadline over you all the time but now that is the obvious answer to this question that of course most people are going to argue that they will perform worse some people do actually claim that they perform better under stress uh, i would very much like to challenge that uh, because it's a I, it's, I, I'm not sh so sure, it depends, of course, it depends on what we mean about stress and w what we mean about performance, but in my experience, usually people prefer to have enough time to do things. However, one thing that we do need to talk about is the reverse of this, and that is to have too much time, and that's more interesting, I think. So what do I mean by that, having too much time? Well, you see, very similar to the argument that I've made a few times before where I've stated that when it comes to software development, there is this sweet spot between quality and delivery speed or time to market, depending on how businessy you want to be. What do I mean by that? Well, I mean that the, it is a false assumption and it's a false statement to say that the more time you have, the higher the quality is going to be of the end product. That is only true if you have enough productive time. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, you see, there is a nice saying where basically well, what we say is that the, the situation of, like, depending on situation, right? The, the amount of time that you have, or rather the task at hand, is always going to stand in proportion to the task. So, or rather, did I say that right? The, t uh, the task at hand is always going to stand in proportion to the time that you have been given. So that's probably more accurate. And basically what that means is that it, you will find that if you have a task that needs to be finished in one month, and you, have, and you just barely make it, you will find that if you had two months, also that that task would still have taken two months. I mean, it's not a, this is not a science or anything like that, but it is an interesting observation. And what's interesting about it is that if you give people too much time, they will be less productive. And they will sometimes actually underachieve as opposed to having a, sharp, a sharper deadline. Now, the interesting part, which it's actually, it's a, one of the f many things that I learned 
from at my first job and one of like the CEO at that specific company I mean he had his quirks and so forth of course but he did say something that I think is fairly like it's a very smart mindset I think it's a very it's a very clever thing in this in this case it was for designers and designers suffer to, for the, we developers we suffer the same thing as designers in this field you know we have that craftsmanship pride we want things to be perfect now the problem with making something perfect as i've stated before is that it takes a lot of time and business in bis the business world unless you are selling high quality like if that is your goal the goal is to find things that are economically feasible in other words things that will gain you a profit as opposed to creating something that is absolutely perfect so what he said was that if my design i asked my designers to to tell me roughly how much time they they need in order to do this and whatever they say this is a little bit strong i don't suggest that you should do this but he said whatever they say i will give i will give them one week less because if i give them that exact amount of time or more they will sit and try to tweak everything into perfection and that's not what we're that, that that's just it's it's a waste because only them they themselves can appreciate that level of perfection it's actually not I, i'm you may have different experiences but i've actually seen this happen many many times with designers and the same thing goes for coders where they will review their own code until like i mean it's been it's been great for a long time but they just keep on iterating over it over and over and over and over until they are mentally satisfied there's nothing wrong with the code it's that's why i very rarely get into these weird discussions where people say oh it should be double quotes or single quotes or you, who the fuck cares just pick one and go with it but there are people who really get into this like they, this is really important and this is exactly the problem no it, it has no practical value like these code divas no practical practical value but it's important to them and that's why i argue that when it comes to having a deadline the goal is to find a a deadline that is that the sensation is this is feasible a feasible deadline you don't want too much because if you give people too much time they will actually lose productivity statistically they are going to produce less because they simply you know in my, mentally you start you thinking oh i have so much time i can kind of take it easy if you're too sh sharp in the deadline people are either going to give up and say oh this is this is impossible and you're just going to say go oh, fuck it you know they're not going to even try to achieve it or they're going to be under some such immense pressure that they actually, uh, you know, it produces health issues and other stress factors. So finding that perfect, perfect um, deadline that has, that, that is sharp enough that you think you're a, you're, you're a little bit unsure if you're going to make it, but it's probably possible. That thing there, that uncertainty, that's the sweet spot right there. And... What's important, I will add as well, is that once you have decided on that, you, you, because once that, that deadline is set, both parties, both the stakeholders and the developers need to have this, this uh, mature, uh, personal maturity that I think is, sometimes it's rare, but it's very important to have it. And that is an understanding that reality always hits you. And what I mean by that is that regardless of how good you're planning, things will always come in the way. You will always, always find, face something that delays you in some manner. It's very rare that you are ahead of schedule. If you're ahead of schedule, you're probably already planning poorly. You're, as, you, as I said earlier, you're probably on the other side here. You're giving, you, you are estimating too, um, you're giving yourself too much time. And that's also bad. A good ratio that I've found to work very well at my current company, I think that this is actually a very good strategy, is that when you are in the planning stage, you estimate things from the perspective of if everything goes perfectly. Now, what I mean by that is that, all right, when we are estimating everything, we are just assuming that everything's going to work absolutely perfectly. We are going to assume that everything, we are not going to be delayed. We're not going to have any third party dependencies or blockers or anything like that. We always estimate from the, pers the perfect scenario. But we also, at the end of the delivery, when the actually deadlines are being met and so forth, we always, always assume as well, because these two needs to come, come in a pair, we always assume that we will only deliver 75% of what we estimated. That also that produces a very nice sweet spot because you are 
you are basically planning for a perfect world, but you know that there is no such thing as a perfect world. Reality always hits you. And when, you're, when it's time to deliver, you already know that you're go, you, you've probably faced all these delays and that's going to leave you with 75% of the total estimation work at the end of it. That's a very, in my opinion, a very good mindset. It's uh, it, to find that sweet spot, to find that perfect amount of work effort that you need to estimate and have a deadline for so that you don't overestimate or underestimate. So what I want you to take away from this is that on average, being stressed or being like uh, having a short de de deadline, I would probably argue is a bad thing. But on the flip side, it's also important to not have too much time because then you lose productivity. So the goal is to, for, to find that perfect amount of, um, pr like to get people to perform at their absolute peak, is to find a deadline that is a little bit uncertain. It, it, needs, it needs to feel feasible to the people who are going to deliver, but they shouldn't be 100% sure that they can deliver. That's perfect, because then they will actually try to meet the deadline, but they, they won't give up, if, if that makes sense. Have a great day.